Joy Reid. Not only are conservatives terrorists, but they want to kill your kids with COVID. Welcome back, everyone. I have to apologize for bringing this clip to your attention because if you're anything like me, this stuff makes you realize that this country, for all intents and purposes, is done. We're no longer a United States, and I think you could put the blame for that squarely on either witting or unwitting CCP operatives like Eric Swalwell and Joy Reid. The vile rhetoric that they spew every day only serves to destroy this country from within. And who does that serve? <laughs> My pinned tweet on Twitter says exactly that, that the Republican Party, Representative Swalwell, is harboring that insurgency. And it is a white nationalist insurgency. Let's just be blunt. You have to work with people who pretty much have that on in their offices all day and think that is mainstream beliefs. You work with these people, Congressman. Do you feel comfortable and safe working with people who at minimum are willing to live with that kind of fascism and white nationalism in their party? No, Joy, I don't. Stop being such a pussy. Oh, you don't feel safe. You were the one who was literally caught hooking up with a CCP spy. A story that was quickly swept under the rug, never to be spoken of again by our corrupt propaganda class. Remember, it wasn't long ago that Democrats and their state media accomplices began insisting that Republicans wanted people to die because of their opposition to Obamacare, which resulted in a Democrat voter and Bernie supporter to attempt the assassination of half the GOP Senate, shooting and almost killing Republican Congressman Steve Scalise while he shouted, this is for health care. I was there at the ball field when Stephen Scalise almost died uh, from a very, very angry, violent man who was incited really by rhetoric on the left. And this hasn't been reported enough. When he came onto the field with a semi-automatic weapon, firing probably close to 200 shots at us, shooting five people and almost killing Steve Scalise, he was yelling, this is for health care. He also had a list of conservative legislators, Republicans in his pocket that he was willing to kill. Remember all the media outrage and focus on Democrats inciting violence? Yeah, me neither. Instead, they did their best to deflect any blame from themselves and hilariously called for unity, attacking Republicans who tried to bring up the fact that Democrats and their media incited it. The FBI even tried to claim that it was just a spontaneous attack, despite the fact he was looking for Republicans to shoot. And it was only just a few months ago that the FBI very quietly admitted that the 2017 baseball game shooting was domestic terrorism. Remember when those Democrat mobs attacked the White House and the media mocked Trump for putting up fencing and bringing in the National Guard. Isn't it Republicans who shouldn't feel safe around Democrats and their state media who are apparently communism curious and spend each and every night demonizing their political oppositions as the worst monsters imaginable? Currently, we're seeing the exact same rhetoric, only this time it's ramped up over 9,000. 9,000? There's no way that can be right. And now, not just focused on the politicians, but you, the Republican voter. Think about it. If somebody out there is watching this propaganda and really believes it, don't you think they would feel completely justified in taking extreme action? I'm concerned because this fear propaganda is overtaking this country from several different vectors. You got Republicans are going to kill you by opposing our authoritarian solutions to man-made climate change. You got that Republicans are going to kill you by opposing their nationalized health care. Most recently, Republicans are going to kill you all by opposing authoritarian mask and vax mandates. In my opinion, this is not something to ignore and just hope that it goes away. It won't, and I promise you it's going to get way worse. Belief in the inherent evilness of all Democrats and that there's a global cabal that must be destroyed by force of arms, that is now standard throughout the conservative base. What am I hearing here? Did he seriously just accuse Republicans of being bad people because they think that all Democrats are evil and must be stopped? You mean exactly what's being said about Republicans in the media and on this show every single day and this very second? Is this real life? Do these people have a shred of self-awareness? If this guy looks familiar to you, it's because he just got nuked from orbit by Ben Shapiro on Bill Maher show. So badly that this was his shining pinnacle of an argument. Dividing everybody into oppressor and oppressive, oppressed and oppressor, I'm not for that. So there are things that are being taught and are going around that I'm not for, that if that was critical race theory, I wouldn't be for. I agree with you, and I don't think that's critical race theory. But for this terminology, sort of like defund the police, has been hijacked. I want you to teach history. If we agree that history should be taught, why are you defending critical race theory, which is not history? Did I not just say a moment ago that I think that term has been hijacked and that's not okay, what we're so talking about? Okay, so let's say critical why are you race defending it? I'm going to go yeah. back and repeat that I didn't say that. Okay. You, you, black people are underperforming white people. This means the system was set up for the benefit of white people and that white people have a duty 
to tear down these systems in order to alleviate the racism that's implicit in those systems. When it comes to schools, what this tends to boil down to is kids who are white have experienced privilege because the system was built for white people, and we have to change well, the standards. Right. Okay, well, so Malcolm, you tell me your definition. Oh, I agree with everything he just said. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay. You, you, you are ah, literally yeah, defending that's critical that's race theory by redefining it as just teaching history, which is a cheap semantic trick, and you know it. Is this right. what you do on your show, because it sucks? <laughs> Your show sucks. So let me prognosticate a little bit more. The Republican Party, you know, I used to joke that they were vanilla ISIS, right? All of these <laughs> these militiamen and everything out there. They were like ISIS. They were like Al Qaeda in the sense that they um, radicalized online. They would meet together in secret, and they did all of these activities, which were very much like a terrorist, you know, a terrorist insurgency. What? What in the hell is he talking about? What terrorist insurgency did we have in America that nobody apparently heard about? I literally think that your only comparison here is that ISIS and Al-Qaeda have guns and people in America are legally allowed to own guns. Al-Qaeda and ISIS are brutal terrorist groups that mass murder innocent people and then record it for the world to see. People on the right who disagree with you are just legal gun owners who are exercising their rights. All right, my blood pressure is sufficiently high for me to stop. It all seems pretty hopeless at this point, like we're on a speeding train going towards a Cliff. One thing you can definitely do is stop giving money to the companies that sponsor this evil. And in this case, we have Four Imprint, Insure, Farmers Insurance, and Liberty Mutual. All companies that apparently hate and want harm to come to you. Stop giving them money and support the sponsors that support channels like mine. In this case, preparewithdronetech.com. As always, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments.